them back. At least I hope it did. I hit the stop recording button and I hit the start recording button. I could just tab out and see. Yeah, I got this set in full screen mode. So, yeah, it just, I really like the game this way. So this is Stratus, child of the mountain and sky. He's pretty simple in terms of how you beat him. Although it's pretty hard to figure out how to beat him, honestly, like... Oh! That went way faster than I thought it would. So, you have to knock out at least one of his teeth with stone icicles. You can't use your arrow for it. Uh, your arrow will just bounce off. You have to get the arrow inside of his mouth. Oh, yeah, sweet. We beat Stratos, was it? Interesting. I thought it would be like goals something because I'm pretty sure the first statue type of dude was like goals something. Okay, I'll take it. <laughs> so, actually, we have to get. Do we have to get up here? No, we have to come this way, I believe. The next area we do, I think we'll do, is probably going to be the fire area, which, if I remember, is like up here. Why is this here? There's little le ledges like this that make me really question this game. When I was playing it alone, it's nice and atmospheric and it feels like I'm really exploring the world, right? But ultimately, the world is just a bunch of bosses loosely connected through a lot of stairs. And really, what's the point of all of these stairs and elevators? Like, what's the point of having me walk around all these corridors? Why can't that corridor just lead me directly to the next fire area. Why do I have to go through this elevator? Why do I have to take a dozen stairs? Um, is it trying to put some flavor text? Is there like any character dialogue going on? No, there's not. So it, it just seems super weird. Those are stairs to a different area. Again, the story. I feel like I'm just going to harp on and on. I need to find a checkpoint about this until like someone tells me or I read on the Wikipedia, hey, there's actually a super in-depth story. Because, like, come here, right? I spent maybe an hour trying to get down here somehow. This is so cool. It's like, there's clearly some kind of giant skeleton thing. Maybe it was, like, working on something. It's got no head. It's, it seems to have fallen out. It's like an artifact from something left behind, right? I don't know. There's no explanation for it, though. This entire area, there's no explanation, and ultimately, the only real words that are put in the game, from what I can tell, just by playing it, um, there's like a hint on how to fight one of the bosses. We're gonna fight this one, because this is the hardest one for me to fight. Um, so this is Gol Quan. I'll continue my rant in a second. He's... One of the ones I died like at least 20, 30, 40 times to, like I could not beat this guy. I think what you have to do is juke him and get an arrow in his back. I got it, he does this cool, yeah there it is, this spinning attack, which is how I got, I waited for him to do that attack and I managed to get an arrow pretty much through luck. I've never died that way though, wow. <laughs> I almost always died because I was too close to him, this time I was playing a little safe. Um, but yeah, you can see in his back there's this pink's little square, and I'm going to shoot that and take his soul, I guess. I still don't really know, which is aggravating. It's like, I guess they sort of imply you're sort of expected to, oh, I'm dead. You're sort of expected to imply what the Titans are, what all of this game represents, I guess. It's really hard to say. But in terms of like a tangential, uh, an official story, I've not seen one yet. Maybe I'll Google it in between um, deaths, because it looks like we're going to the three death limit. Oh, maybe I'm too far from him. Oh my god! Uh, I still have trouble fighting this guy, honestly. Like, my brain cannot comprehend, like, where the balls are going to hit 
for some reason when he does that little spin attack. It's like I know where it's going to land, but then I don't really act upon it, you know? Alright. I wonder what the speedrunning strat is. I've s I've not seen speedruns, but one of my friends did a speedrun of this game. And it was like 10 minutes or something, like... It's pretty crazy. I'm actually just scared of this guy right now. Which isn't good, but... Oh my god, okay. I guess we'll do a skip. For the record, what I think I need to do is I need to position him so he's sort of facing this way-ish. And so he can juke around and get behind him. And so well, what I really want is for there to be a straight shot for me to hit. Because doing these angles just inherently seems to be a problem for me. So we'll see how this goes and we will be back whenever I kill this guy. This is going to be, this feels like a really short recording though. It's a 30 minute recording. Fuck this boss. So the strategy that I'm using currently was simply just to... The, he sort of glitches out on the wall when he's doing his sort of spin attack. So the strategy I was doing was sort of baiting out the spin attack. But to bait out the spin attack you have to be sort of close to him. Like, he won't do his spin attack. If you're like a mile away, he'll do this sort of long reaching attack to try and cover distance. So basically, you have to always be close to him. But here's another thing if you run towards him at all, it's a little bit faster for his balls to reach you and it drops faster. So even if you're like waiting for the ball to drop and you roll just at the instant, sometimes it he just gets you anyways because then you'll go meet, you'll roll up and he'll immediately do his spin attack and kill you. It's so frustrating. Uh, this is probably like one of the worst bosses in the game. Like, I don't know any boss that takes me 30 minutes. And on the second try, this is the second time I've... <sighs> That's so annoying. Uh, not even glad it's over. I'm just kind of like, fucking hell, I need a break or something. Am I glad? Because the point of the game is to be have fun, right? And, and it was certainly a hard battle. Like, I can't complain in terms of difficulty, but... I'm kind of just annoyed. It feels kind of like I just wasted a bunch of time. Like, maybe if I was better at the game, I would have been faster? I don't know. There was honestly moments where it was like, I know I've beaten this guy, but it feels like I can't beat him. Like, the strategy I'm doing right now, it just isn't working, and I have to figure something out or I'm just screwed, you know? Which I guess is the fun of the game. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching. Like for my suffering. Bleh. I'll see you guys in another video.